Hi, it's Corrine, and today I'd like to share a mini album with you. I do have a full start to finish on the mini album. It's not a mini album tutorial, but I do have the full start to finish. I will go ahead and do a flip through of the album first. So those of you who do not want to stay tuned for the start to finish, you can see the album. For those that would like to watch the start to finish, I will play it here in just a moment. I used lots of gorgeous products from Wild Orchid Crafts and a new paper collection from Knitway Collections. And check out the description box for links to both Wild Orchid Crafts and Knitway Collections. They also have YouTube channels as well. I will link those in the description box as well with their Facebook and um, all the places that you can reach them. So for my mini album, I do have it in a box. I use the Gra Graphic 45 Staples book box. I got this from Cut at Home. I'll put a link in the description box for this as well. The box is black, so I didn't have to paint it or um, cover it in any way. And look at this new collection, this paper collection. It is a gorgeous collection. It's called Cottage Garden. And I'll put a link also in the description box for a video that I made showing how you can use your digital papers if you have a silhouette. You can also use them if you have a Cricut or if you don't have a die cut machine at all. If you simply have a printer or even a place that you can um, print from, like a copy store, then you can use digital papers. You just simply print them out and cut them out. They come with lots of elements like these two elements here and you can simply print them out and cut them out but I do have a video showing how if you do have a silhouette how you can use it in the silhouette so check the description box so on the front I used one of the elements it's a seed pack that came in the collection and I use this gorgeous can with the flowers I added these beautiful flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts these two here are called Wave Mist and they went perfect with this collection they're, they're a light green I used some of the Pink Mist Open Roses and some of these beautiful Sweetheart Blossoms. I also added a few pearls and this new, I, it's a teardrop pearl. I tuck that in there, it's gorgeous. On the front here, this little hardware was on a little wooden dresser that I was going to throw away so I took the hardware off and saved that. I thought it went perfect on this. I love this paper, it is gorgeous. Here's the spine. On the inside, I used one of the birdhouses that come in the collection, and this flower cluster came on it already. So that's one of the many things I like about Knitwood Collections, is they give you your elements that are already clustered. They also will give them to you separate. Like here's some flowers here. That way if you want to build your own custom designs, you can do so or they have done it for you and you just add them onto your project. So this birdhouse I backed with some black to make it stand out a little bit more. This heart that comes in the collection I backed it with some white cardstock and added a label that comes in the collection. And Mary Fran designs these. Look at the shadowing that she puts in her in this. Her designs in all her collections are just amazing. And they have everything you can imagine. They have um, baby boy, baby girl, they have wedding, uh, lots of shabby chic, lots of just tons you wouldn't believe. Here's the inside. So on the album itself, as you can see, I made it from black cardstock to match. The album is about six by four and a quarter. On the spine here, I use some of my favorite trim from Wild Orchid Craft. It's the white organza rose trimming in small. Here's the back of the album. This paper is just gorgeous. And here's one of the labor labels that come in the elements. On the front, again, I used one of the cans and it comes clustered with these flowers. I did add some separate flowers on pop dots here, along with a label that says, Wherever life plants you, bloom with grace. I use my favorite paper on the front of it. And that's, um, with the digital, once you purchase it, it's yours to keep forever. So you can print it out as many times as you like. And I like that just because what the favorite paper that I like from it, I can print out over and over. And it really does not use a lot of ink. So I use more of those pink mist open roses. 
some sweetheart blossoms I have some pearls and I added some of the rose leaves in there along with another one of those teardrop pearls embellishments I love those So when you open the album, the first page here is a pocket page, and I use this gorgeous um, flower pot with the flowers that come on it, and I just added some of the Sweetheart Blossoms with it. I love the look of that together. And here's another one of the labels I added. To the pocket, I have one of the little seed packs, and as you can see, I just sized it down to fit in my pocket. Here's a larger one that I, I sized it to fit on my box. So I like that you can customize it any way you want. So this little pocket will hold photos, tiny photos, and it's open on the side here, but it's glued down on this side. Here I have a photo mat and a label that says scattered seeds of kindness and it is left open so a photo can go behind it. I added some more of those beautiful Sweetheart Blossoms. Every pocket has a pull-out mat that I designed in my Cameo. It has a bracket edge. Great place for more photos, and I love that I made it stick out just a little to give the pocket just a nice edge to it. On this side, I have a photo mat for a two and a half square photo, another label that I blacked on back and left it open so a photo can slide under. It says, make every day beautiful. Some of the paper flowers along with a sweetheart blossom. On this side, this is probably my favorite. This flower cluster came just like this. I did back it on some black cardstock because I was making a pocket out of it. So just to give it a little more stability. And I added some of the gorgeous Wild Orchid Craft pearls. These are the ivory pearls and some of the Sweetheart Blossoms, of course. And I love the way the black mat looked on this page, so I just left it black. I didn't add another um, pattern paper on top. Again, another pull-out mat. On this side, I have a little can here, and it comes with this little rose on here and you can see it's all clustered in there. I added a Sweetheart Blossom and a couple pearls. Again, I left just a black mat for photos that slides in here. On this side, I made a little belly band with a pull-out mat with some of the design paper. You get lots of paper in the collection. I backed on some black, and here's some more of that paper, but it's in pink. So you get several colors so you can match your um, collection however you want. On the side here, there I'll show you up close in just a moment, there is a border that comes in with the elements and it's this rose border. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I just sized it down to go on top of my belly band, added some of the Sweetheart Blossoms and Pearls. To me, the Wild Orchid Craft Flowers along with Knitwit Collections is just a perfect combination. I love, I say that in every video, so you're probably sick of hearing it, but I love the um, combination of the paper flowers along with the mulberry flowers. Love this paper, I just left it blank on this side so a photo can be added to it. On this page I used a Spellbinders one die scallop and cut out um, the black flip page and then some pattern paper. It's magnetized so when you open it there's a spot for a I believe two by three photo. It has a label here that says love makes all things grow. It's left open. And this side here, a photo can be placed back here. I have a little mat with a little pocket. And this is one of their paint chips that comes in all their collections. I absolutely love those. I think it's such a unique idea. So I just backed it on some black cardstock and made a little pocket out of it. On the last page is some more of this beautiful stripe paper along with this flower paper. I added three of the paper flowers. Again, those are left open so the photo can slip behind it. And on the last page, I also made a pocket, this gorgeous flower pot. It comes clustered like this and a label that says life is beautiful. I have a few mats here. This one is comes just like that. So you can add wording to that, you can add dates, journaling, whatever you'd like to that. That's I love that they always include those in their collections. And then I have two mats here uh, matted on 
black cardstock. And I just want to show you, this here is the exact same paper. I just scaled it way down be to make it look like a completely different paper. And being that I just wanted it for a small mat, I scaled the design way down. So I really like that you can customize these however you want for whatever project that you're using. So if you'd like to, please stay tuned for the start to finish on this. Check out the description box. You'll find a link to both Wild Orchid Crafts and Knitwit Collections. I hope you've enjoyed. Please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching.